Okay, sailor's knife lanyard knots. <clears throat> Two sorts. I'm going to teach you how to do a single sailor's knife lanyard knot and a double sailor's knife lanyard knot. First thing is your cord. Um, practice with some cord first. You can get onto other materials later on. Don't use this stuff. This is Paramo. And if you look when you twist it, the sheath all buckles up. Not very nice to tie with. Particularly for these knots, you won't end up with a particularly good result. So, what I'm actually going to use today um, for demonstration is something really easy to tie with. This is nice round braided white cord. I'm hoping this looks okay on the video. Um, the, the key thing about this is it's a nice rounded cord, nice and firm in the core. It's going to keep its shape when I actually turn it and twist it and actually start to dress the knot should be pretty easy and it's nice big and chunky so you can see it even with my fat fingers okay right so I have a long loop of cord here and I'm only actually going to use the top part so these are going to be the the ends um, coming out of the end of the knot okay and um, what I'll probably do is refer to the loop side and the tail side tails being these bits of course okay the first thing that you want to do, if you lie the cord across your hand like this, okay, and just give it a twist so that the loop side forms a loop over the top of the tail, like this. Give yourself a little bit of tail hanging out at the top of your hand there, okay. And then get the other piece of cord. On this side, put the loop side at the top of your hand and take it underneath this loop so you have a tail coming out this side. Then literally what you do is holding that in place you weave this in really so that you take it over the top of the loop on the underside, yeah, underneath the other tail keeping the loop, okay, and finally pull that little bite through the loop and tuck it through, okay. And if you follow that approach, you'll end up tying this the right way round. And the right way round is that you have a tail sticking out one side like that, you have a tail sticking out the other side like this. If you end up with a tail here and a tail here, you've tied it wrong. Go back to the beginning of the video and, and try again. Just bear that in mind that when you tie this knot, let's undo it and tie it again. Okay. Dropping it over my hand, put the twist in. The tail, and this is the golden rule, comes underneath and it lines up with the cord that forms the loop. Okay, and not with the other tail. Okay, so I'll finish that cut that knot again. Okay, and you should end up with something that looks like that. Okay, have a look at it. You can see how it loops over and under. And this, a lot of people refer to as just the same, a, a simple sailor's knot. Um, I've actually got a copy of Ashley Book of Knots. I can't actually find the categorization that calls it the sailor knot, but loads of people call that sailor knot anyway. Get that tied, and you're pretty much on your way to having finished the first lanyard knot. So I'm just going to pause it there because there's a lot of work going on in the background. I just want to make sure I can get short edit sessions that work all right. Okay, so we know hopefully how to tie this sailor's knot pretty repeatedly. If you want to demo this to somebody I can guarantee this is the bit that you'll get wrong every time so you practice and you know how to repeatedly do that. Recapping. The main things are that the tails stick out at diagonals and the loop piece also sticks out diagonally from it. They don't come out the same side. That is kind of the same knot but not what we need for this particular exercise. Okay, turning this into a single knife lanyard knot. Very, very easy now. Loops hanging downwards. That way up is not going to work. That will do something entirely different. So loops hanging downwards, 
tail sticking up out of the knot. Yeah, we got it like this. What I now need to do, okay, is take one of the tails around the back of the knot, yeah, and round the outside of one of the loop ends, okay, and it then comes up through the middle of that knot, okay, and drop that over to one side, we'll take the other tail around the outside of the knot, around the outside of the loop, and up through the middle. And that is a single knife line yard knot. Looks a bit tatty at the moment. Let's just dress that. I'll just pull the loops through. And you'll actually see it take shape. Okay, so you'll need to do a little bit of this with both the knots. I'll show you a trick on the second knot, the double knot, when we come to do it. But it produces something like that. Oop, tidy that bit up. Okay, nice and neat. Okay, that's obviously a, quite a big example, but if let's just dig out the old Spartan Swiss Army knife from the pocket. There we go. It's a smaller example. Yeah, practice on cord first and then work up to leather. I actually spent quite a while, quite a bit of time dressing that particular one. It's, it's a bit dishevelled because it's been in the pocket for a long time now. Um, but the key things when you're dressing cord, which is quite different, uh, when you're dressing leather, which is square, of course, is that you're trying to keep the outside of the leather to form a nice, pretty presentation. I don't know, perhaps not worth it looking at it now, but... Uh, it's it's a nice knot anyway. The other thing is it's it's not too big. Um, the second knot I'm going to show you is very pretty indeed, but it's going to be a lot bigger. So I'm just going to pause there and go for another edit cut.